Hi everyone. Um, I'm Ti Ming, your host for this special interview with Eli Davidson. She is the high-end client expert, and um, some of the tools that she teaches are um, how to uh, take from uh, how to earn four thousand dollars a month, and then move on to actually learning a uh, earning a hundred thousand uh, dollars a day within six months. I mean, that's like amazing. She has coached Joan Rivers on TV and helped her have uh, breakthroughs, better relationships, and, and just to flourish. So Eli is the host of a new meetup group um, in Beverly Hills. Um, it's called the Million Dollar Business Strategies uh, Meetup Group. It outgrew uh, the first phase uh, in one meeting, and then in the second meeting, it had three times the paid attendees than a 37-year-old referral network. So it's, it's fast becoming the place for people to meet and learn how to have their own high-end clients. So welcome, Eli. Thank you, Timmy. It's so nice to be here. So yeah, if you're someone that's a service-based expert, I did take my own coaching business from $4,000 a month to having a $100,000 day of sales in six months. So this is for you if you want to grow your business quickly and you want to actually have free time so that you flourish. So thank yeah. you, Tim. Yeah, well, thank you, Eli. So um, I want to ask you a little bit about... Um, what kind of um, business that you have built from the ground up? Um, I know you, you know, had a very short amount of time to build it, you know, uh, and it's like a meteoric rise. It's like wow, <laughs> you know, from nowhere it seems. But you know, tell me about your company. So my company is called the Davidson Partnership, and the website is elidavidson.com. And so this business really specializes. We have a very laser focus on helping and, and serving those service-based professionals that have a, a six-figure business and want to take it to a million dollars. Those those people that are already have an established business. Um, and so in, we help chiropractors and attorneys and health coaches and experts and authors and, gosh, attorneys. We even have interior designers and uh, a pet psychic. So oh, yeah, pet psychics, all right. <laughs> an, an animal communicator. So the system, the system just works for service-based professionals. That means you don't have a, you're not selling a product, you're not selling a widget, you're selling um, how you serve someone or your knowledge. Mm -hmm. And really what I discovered in my own business, um, I had had a coaching business and I had to keep having, a, I, I lived a double life. So at that time, I lived a double life and um, had to continue doing a consulting business just to have the honor of coaching. And what I realized was, wait a minute, I, I got one high-end client and realized, wait, it took as much energy to work with one high-end client as it did 10 of the, you know, the, the lower-end clients. And so I really focused just on that, and that was one of the ways that I went from $4,000 a month to $100,000 in a single day of sales. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, that, that makes sense. You know, it, it's the same amount of work, but you can get um, way more compensation for that. That would make sense. Um, yeah. So it's really interesting because what you'll notice, and I didn't understand this until I really started doing this, is that the the people that are more invested in their growth, they're the people that actually get the most value. Because you know, if you're spending ten thousand dollars, you're gonna do your homework. Mm -hmm. And so you know, I've got a client who just started gosh, six weeks ago, and she's already 
I mean, this is a brand new client in my business. In six weeks, she's already generated $36,000 of her own new sales. Wow. And she's already gotten her own paid speaking engagement. And that's in just six weeks. So, you know, that's why people really choose to work with a mentor because they can make really significant um, leaps mm -hmm. because they're, they're invested. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, I think behind every successful entrepreneur, there is a team. So, I'd like you to tell us about um, your team and how you build your team over the, uh, the years. Thank you. So, I have a wonderful team. And so, I cannot acknowledge my team enough. So the first team member is Vicki Smith. Vicki Smith is absolutely, by far, hands down, the best team leader in the business, period. And the people that she's worked for, I'd say her most famous client is a gentleman named Tony Robbins. So Vicki was Tony Robbins' right hand. And those people that have been around my organization, I mean, everybody wants Vicky. I mean, if, <laughs> if we could just clone Vicky, and um, we could, uh, if if we could clone Vicky, basically, I'd be a bazillionaire. <laughs> isn't anybody that meets Vicky Smith or ever talks to Vicky Smith or even gets an email from Vicky Smith that doesn't say, "I want Vicky <laughs> Smith." And the next uh, member of my team is Lisa Morgan. And Lisa is by far the best tech leader around. Period, bar none, the best. <laughs> so uh, Lisa was at JP Morgan, and she's an absolutely incredible um, launch manager, and she has so much knowledge. And she really watches, she really has an eagle eye for the details that, frankly, I miss because I'm a visionary. I'm a person that, that always sees ahead, and I wouldn't be able to be the visionary that I am if I was so focused on the details. I, I just wouldn't, I mean, my book has won three National Book Awards, and I do TV, and I speak all over the planet. And so, so the, the combination of Vicki and Lisa really allow me to move forward quickly. Um, I also have a social media team. And um, let's see, who else? And, and then I do la large live events. So um, I've done three live events. I did three large live events in 14 months, which is, by the way, crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And we have an extremely extensive team for that, and um, and that team, which is audio and video, and you know, I can't even tell you pages of details. And that's also run by the Tony Robbins team, oh. headed up by Paula Piccolella. So they they did uh, pretty much all of Tony's events, spanning from. Eight small 80 people events to um, stadiums with 20,000 people. So wow. that's my team. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Well, so I don't know. I think most of us do not have access to like Tony Robbins' team. So how do you advise us <laughs> to go and find people who can um, help us? Um, you know. Help us uh, be in our role as visionaries, and they take care of all the other stuff. So, what is your advice? Well, um, get referrals, get references. I mean, I can't even tell you how many people I tried that didn't work. Um, so, it's really important that you speak to the people that they say they've worked for, because. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
And I also think being really honest with your expectations and what are the benefits of working for you and working with you and what are the downsides. I mean, I am a wildly creative person. So, I mean, I really let people know, look, I will probably lose the piece of paper you have. So we really need to set up systems that, that, that those things are followed up on. So really just be very authentic. And another element is be slow to hire and fast to fire. Um, one of the things that we've done that I think is it's a really great um, it's a really great strategy is to set up three tasks and pay people for the tasks. Just you know, create a create a social media, create a landing page. You know, literally have them do something that you would pay for anyway, and and have. A, is part of your interview process, have people actually do a task for you so mm -hmm. that you can see what's their what's their performance like, do they do they follow through, are they easy to work with, do they do they ask questions if they need more information, do they hand it in on time? Um, so it, it's been a really, really valuable element. Because mm -hmm. one of the things that we were astonished by is that you know, people will get that far in the interview process and then they won't even do the task. And you're going to pay them, you know, so you really learn a lot that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Like a trial task kind of a thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and before we also, you. We also do a 30 day trial. So we just we let somebody new knowing that, know that we're. Um, we're going to try it for 30 days and see if it's a fit because it, it's not necessarily a fit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Eli, you mentioned like systems that you have your team set up. So, can you describe a little bit more about the systems? Uh, I wish I had Lisa Morgan on because she is just our systems manager. And there's so many systems. Um, that are so key for a for a creative or for a business owner, and they're they're wonderful things to automate. Like you know, automate your scheduling, um, automate uh, how people get to interact with you, uh, automate. Um, that's another thing that we're doing is that really. I mean, what we're really doing is creating systems so that any work product that I create, like for instance this, mm -hmm. so for instance this uh, this video, so this will be on YouTube, um, but it can also be um, taken and transcribed. So for uh, a, a, an ebook or for some sort of product, and then it can also become a podcast. Mm -hmm. So really creating the systems so that what you do is, you know, you're always really leveraging your time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, thanks to Lisa Morgan, our, um, you know, I'm very honored to be running one of the most elite masterminds in the country. So the people in our mastermind are not only, you know, getting paid speaking engagements, um, you know, taking their businesses global. But they're also learning, um, getting access to how to get million-dollar corporate contracts, mm. so, which is incredible. Which is just I mean, wow, and uh, it's really exciting because we, we've got you know, a person that's in the process with a multi-million-dollar corporate contract. Wow. So. <laughs> so um, so that's very systematized, uh -huh. so really showing people how do you actually get access um, to a decision maker in a corporation and what are the systems that you need to follow through mm -hmm. to, to have a, you know, to have a multiple six-figure contract or a seven-figure, just single contract. Yeah, yeah, corporate contracts, definitely big, um, you know, it's great to have a corporate contract because <laughs> there, there goes your year's income. 
Um, and I want to other yeah. things, I mean, this, um, the other thing that's so great about a corporate contract is that once once you're in a corporation, it's not just a one-year contract. I mean, I have clients that have had ten-year contracts. Wow! So imagine not having to market or sell for a decade. How great yeah. is that? I know. That's awesome. Yeah. Sounds great. Um, I know you're not like the technical person in your company, but I just want to know like what kind of technologies your team uses. So to kind of generally briefly. <laughs> um, so we tried. I'm just going to be. You know, I, I'm going to be. I'm going to actually use names because they were. This is our experience. So we uh, used Infusionsoft for a little bit. And were deeply disappointed. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it had too many technical errors, and we spent literally six months doing the research on what really was the best um, email platform. Mm -hmm. And we joined Brendan Burchard and Marie Forleo and Evan Hagen, and we switched to Entreport, and mm -hmm. it made a huge difference in our business. It it's so great because it, you know, it does all the tracking that, that Infusionsoft does, but it, it does so much more. It hosts mm -hmm. our, our mastermind website. It, it um, does video tracking so we can see where, where in a video people, uh, it works with Wistia to see where do people stop watching a video and, and how we might change that in the future. And it's just an extraordinary um, benefit. Um, mm. other, I'll just give you some other pieces of tech that I personally love. Um, I was just interviewed by um, some of the biggest people on Google Plus for some of my tech tips, which was such an honor. Uh -huh. So um, Martin Shervington, who's partnered with Google, and Ronnie Fincer, who's also partnered with Google, so they were featured in this as well. So quite an honor for somebody that doesn't feel very techy. Um, I have to tell you. My iPhone and Siri. I use Siri like nobody's business. Um, I dictate scripts. I dictate emails. I dictate. I literally use Siri and um, write emails, write texts. Um, it's it's a really it's um, with the five. They've done some up leveling with um, with the voice recognition, so it's really good. Mm. Um, Another thing that I we switched from recently, we were using Time Trade for all our scheduling. Um, mm -hmm. But one of the things that we found was that Google was changing the algorithm, and it just wasn't working. So you know, even like we weren't getting some of the schedules. So mm -hmm. uh, so we switched. We're um, beta testing Calendly, C A L N E N D L Y, and mm -hmm. that's. That has a really smooth interface with Google. It's free. Mm -hmm. uh, another another um, tech tool that uh, I find really um, useful that a lot of people aren't using is actually Meetup. And um, it doesn't seem like it's a tech tool, mm -hmm. but. What I've been seeing, and, and you got to be there, Timmy, which was so special, is that I have been, you know, I find, and this is for my arena, this is just if you want high-end clients. So I'm speaking to you if you'd love to make a minimum of $2,500 to $5,000 a day. And what we've discovered is that those people that are that that highly invested want to meet someone in person. And, and then what we discovered is those people with subs, you know, pretty substantial, that, you know, that are six-figure, multiple six-figure and seven-figure people are actually using Nita. They, that's, I mean, I talked to a guy that was the head of an ad agency that probably has you know, $300 million accounts. And he uses Meetup for his social life. Wow. Who knew? <laughs> so, so what we've seen is that 
for high end, you know, we're seeing that it's a really great, uh, it's a great tech tool actually to uh, connect with high end clients. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Because I think uh, something great happened at the um, the first um, meetup that I attended that you put on. So tell tell us about that. Actually, what I want to do is I want to set it up. So okay, for you to have high end clients, you know, one piece is to is to have the the desire, but the really key element for anyone to have high end clients is to have a very focused niche. I like to call it a diamond niche because if you're just out there serving anybody, it's like you're a piece of coal. But the high end wants value. They want a diamond. So it has to be really laser focused for them. It has to solve their urgent, pervasive, expensive need. Because if, if it's not their need, why should they pay extra? So an example of this, and this is the long way of telling the story, so that you can start doing this for your own business. So mm -hmm. my toughest client was an animal communicator. Like, how was I going to take that business from a whole business of, and by the way, there are over 80,000 animal communicators in the United States. Who knew? Wow. So how could we help her have high-end clients? So we took that, and I really looked at who were the high end clients for her? And so she went from animal communicator to show horse performance expert. See how that's really narrow. And the people that are showing horses have already spent a lot of money and are already really invested. Mm -hmm. So now we get to the meetup. So I was telling the story at the meetup uh, about taking someone from, you know, can you imagine, would you pay? at least $2,500 a day to have your show horse performance expert work with your horse because you're spending at least twenty-five dollars to $50,000 per year just showing the horse. It's like no-brainer. Everybody there goes, wow, I want, I want that for my business. And one of the people in the audience was just talking to somebody at another meetup about, about this concept of coming to Eli Davidson to find your diamond niche where high-end clients come to you. Well, he was a TV producer and he said, oh my gosh, a show horse performance expert? I have just been talking to the horse network. <laughs> horse network needs TV shows. Mm. So I'm actually meeting with him this Friday about a TV show. <laughs> wow. From, uh, for uh, for um, myself and my client that has a show horse performance expert business. So, yeah. Think, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome how things, you know, work out that way. It's like, whoa, okay. Well, cool. This is a piece that I do want to share. I mean, one of the reasons high net worth individuals go to physical meetings. This is so interesting to me. They've been studying um, networking. Mm -hmm. And what happens when human beings physically touch one another, we secrete a hormone that makes us more bonded mm -hmm. than seeing one another on video. So this is why, you know, I think people that are unconsciously, um, they go to physical meetings because so much more can get done that way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Isn't that just fascinating? It was yeah. Fascinating. Yeah, and the, and the energy you get in real face-to-face -face meeting is, is uh, more intense when you meet somebody in person. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like going to live events. <laughs> yeah. So um, the next question I have for you, Eli, is about um, the culture piece for your company. So what do you do in terms of promoting company values um, and uh, creating a great work environment and all that stuff? Yeah, to keep your team happy and uh, rowing in the same direction as where your vision is. 
Well, first off, I think the very first piece of culture is having a great team. And we're very um, conscious about only bringing people on the team that will really contribute to the team as a whole. Mm. So I think that really the first piece of culture, if you've got a small organization, is to just be very conscious. Will that new hire really fit into the culture? We, we had a wonderful um, member of our sales team, and they were really, really, really great at what they did, but they just weren't a fit for mm -hmm. our culture. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a really key element in, uh, in the fit of a culture. Mm -hmm. um, I just I feel very blessed because I, I feel like I have the most amazing team members on the planet. Um, I think as a as a leader, mm -hmm. you know, frankly, I I learn from them, and we're very collaborative. I very much look forward. I look for their their views and their opinions, and um, we have very open dialogue. Um, mm -hmm. And. So I think that's one really key piece, at least in the culture that I want to have, is that it's not just my way and this is what you're going to do and do it now and this is the this is what we're doing. So it's it's very much collaborative. Mm -hmm. And so the next piece is um, if you're a if you're an owner, just do nice things. I mean, I will you know surprise Vicky with a massage or. Um, flowers or, you know, it's those things and, and really remembering to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think there's another element um, being an owner is, is also backing up your people. So I think it's, it's very important that um, because there'll always be challenges in business, but you know, really be the person that backs up your team. And, and uh, yeah, I'm just thinking of you know, if, if there's a customer problem, you know, really be the person that really supports your team first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. and then be the kind of leader that people want to follow. Uh huh. I mean, I do some things that are, you know, and I just really, I, I just, I cannot really thank my team enough because I have really been called to a higher level, and it's not convenient. It's not, and it may look like it's, it, it may actually look like, what is she doing? You know, it may look like, you know, you, you've done these, you've done these wonderful events and. And what are you doing that you're not, you know, you're not doing as many big live events? And I feel so incredibly blessed that we have a very spiritual foundation in our business and that my team trusts me that we are going to a higher level. And, you know, for us as a business, I really have a calling to not only just teach business now, but uh -huh. to really Teach the flourish formula, mm -hmm. and and the flourish formula is about literally. I mean, just say the word flourish. Flourish. <laughs> it just it just makes you feel good. So it used to be that you know we just built business, but that's not enough. So it's the five pillars: it's faith, family, finances, fitness, and fun. Mm -hmm. and to really engage all of us in both building our business and you know what? Having a life. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. We need to have a life aside from business, definitely. Um, yeah, I, mean, I mean, honestly, you know, I woke up one day and I realized my business is my boyfriend. <sighs> Okay. Hmm. I mean, and how many of us, even if you're married, if you're married, you have a husband, but then you're cheating on your marriage with all the time you're spending with your business. Mm -hmm. It is kind of like 
having a boyfriend on the side if you're married. Because <laughs> it takes up so much time and attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You relate, know, like teaming? Yes, that's why you need to build a team. <laughs> yes. Mm. Yeah. Hey, I want to ask you, Eli. So if you had to do it all over again, uh, how, what would you do differently in scaling your business? Oh, that's such a great boy. I would be repurposing everything from day one. Repurposing. Okay. Yeah. Great. Great advice. So, I mean, I just, I realized that hundreds of hours that I gave talks, that I did speeches, that, that literally take everything, have, you know, have a calendar and literally slice and dice your comment, your content. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so um, have a calendar, because I, you know, have a calendar, like, this is going to be our launch, this is what we're doing. And this is what we're going to do next. Yeah, have a calendar. Yeah, that's part of the systems part. Yep, definitely. Um, so, Eli, do you have anything you would like to share with our audience in, term of, in terms of where they could find out more about you and your work? Absolutely. So, if you're somebody that is really wanting a life, and probably if you're listening to teaming, you definitely want a life and you definitely want a team so my tools would really help you generate the cash so that you can create a team because <laughs> so, you know, that's the thing you for the team you gotta pay for the team so for you uh, I'd love to have you come to elidavidson.com and get uh, our, our gift is how to get what you want faster. And then there will be a, a two-month program um, delivered by email for you to create a high-end conscious business. So make sure you come and get that free, uh, free gift. And if you're somebody that's really serious about having your own $100,000 day or even a $5,000 day, um, I'd love to have you, um, I'd love to, to talk to you and uh, definitely get on the, the box that says uh, complimentary strategy session. Okay, so I'll put the links um, in the web page where people find this interview with them um, so that they can get your free gift and um, probably uh, if they feel called to, to schedule a session with you. Okay, great. I appreciate your time, Eli, um, and all the gems of wisdom you have shared with us today. Um, so um, I'd like to thank our audience and to encourage them to take advantage of the gifts that um, Eli has um, mentioned. So, all right. Bye, everybody. Bye.